Hello, my beautiful Capricorn Dragons. Welcome to your May bonus. So thank you very much. You guys made it to the bonus. I do not have time to get all of the bonuses out for May. So um, I do appreciate you um, watching and liking and leaving comments and subscribing. So thank you very much. And let's go ahead and get some cards for... Ooh, my beautiful Capricorns. Apparently you guys have something that needs to be heard. So let's go ahead and see what's come out here. Two of coins, beautiful start. Okay, so this is, um, you might all of a sudden be financially pulling in from two sources. Um, but this is also about like decisions and, but it's a balancing act. Okay, so I think things are starting to come into balance. So still remember, there's still careful planning that has to happen. So let's see. Yeah, look at this. So we have the King of Wands, the Star, and the Hermit. So I think that um, you've really gone inside. You've really found your passion and your energy, and you've overcome something. You're, this is the calm after the storm. And it's, and it's funny because with calm, to have the King of Wands... Now, this could be somebody coming into your life that could be a fire sign or have fire heavily in their charts. Um, but it is also about um, you overcoming and you going inside. I see this really about you overcoming and becoming the hermit. You've gone inside with a lot of passion. Like you've just decided, forget this. I'm so tired of this. And you just sort of withdrew in all the best ways you withdrew. Okay, so let's just see what's going on here. Yeah, justice. What a great reading. Oh, let's see what else is coming out. Whoa, Major Arcana. Holy crow. Okay. Guys, so we have the nine of coins and justice. This is one of the most positive cards on the deck. Like you're harvesting like something that was unfair is now becoming fair. I feel like you didn't really have a decision in the matter. It could have had to do with Lee of the Lovers in reverse. It could have been in a romantic situation. Doesn't mean that it is. This could also have been you um, breaking up with something. And it doesn't have to be a person. It could be breaking up with um, a value or a realization of something that didn't help you. This could also be you merging with yourself. And that's what I see this, right? The lovers in reverse is about you. It's about you and you. And I really see that this is what you've done, right? Hangman in reverse. You realize that you were stuck in a specific perspective. And then you have the priestess, right? So priestess and the hermit. I always think of them very much together. So the priestess is about really going inward and finding your own power, okay? Because you realize magician in reverse and queen of coins in reverse, you realize that things were out of balance, okay? Um, and yeah, magician in reverse, again, is things being out of balance. It's also about finding patience with the situation. But guys, here's the thing. Look at this. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine major arcana. Okay. Like this is insane that all of these just flew out like this. So, but it's a very easy read. Like you guys are, are you like you're moving in the right direction. You're going to be successful. You're creating fairness where fairness didn't exist. Okay. It, it's going to be happening if it hasn't yet. It's a really gorgeous reading for you guys. I don't even know what to clarify. Um, okay. Maybe uh, give me some, give me, give me something. What do you guys want? If you have anything else to say to Capricorn, get cards out on the next three shuffles. One, I just don't even know what else to say here. Two, yeah, three. Yeah. Okay. So let's move into love. Okay. So we're going to move into, this is like the fastest bonus reading ever. It's a very easy read. A very easy read. And it's a beautiful read. I, I love it. I love this. You guys are my last bonus. So um, it makes me very happy that you guys, that we're ending up, you know, all the May bonuses on a, on a good note. So, OK, 
Okay, no, I'm not gonna take all of those, just a second. So just, what happened here? Just a second, guys. Okay. Uh, that's incredible that these are still flying down here. Okay, so, yeah. You guys have put something big to death, okay? So you have addiction and Grim Reaper. You guys have overcome some sort of like codependent or some sort of like obsession. Um, something stopped, right? So you've just decided to uh, to put it to rest. Now we have engagement ring and paradise. Um I, I don't know what to say to this. You could be, while you're going through and doing this, you could very well be finding um, something to commit to, something that brings you happiness, right? And and don't forget, so with this paradise, it's also about playfulness. And I think after this, right, after especially after this too, you guys have very much... I just feel like you feel lighter. Like this whole reading, I don't know if you noticed, it's been very easy, very light, very free. And that's what I feel like you guys have embodied. You've just, whew, right now you're just enjoying it because you know how hard it can be. Okay, Capricorns, that's it. I'm sorry, that's, that's all I have for you. So if you're still over here, right? And this is what you want. Say that you're still dealing with this. Go back and listen again and take it as sort of guidance as what, what, what you're overcoming and what you need to do, right? To get there. The calm after the storm will come. Okay. Right there. Okay, guys, have a wonderful rest of May and I will see you in your June reading. Thank you.